Heyo, my name is Ronda the First, and welcome to another Motivational Monday. Today we're going to be talking about patience, a quality which I hold close and dear to my heart and is going to be a very common theme with all the videos moving forward, and I wanted to share with you guys how I feel about patience, how valuable I believe it is, and how it can help you. Patience as described by the dictionary, is a noun and the capacity to accept or tolerate delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset. An example being, you can find bargains if you have the patience to sift through the dross. Synonyms being forbearance, tolerance, restraint, self-restraint, stoicism, etc., etc. With patience, there is a lot in life that patience helps you with. In my opinion, it is one of the best qualities that one can ever have. There are many reasons why patience helps you in life. For one, the world that we live in, it's not necessarily the best one, and in fact, it's requiring more and more patience out of us as we move forward. So it is of my opinion that knowing and having this quality is one of the best things that you could possibly do for your life, because it it has helped me rather significantly. It can help you significantly as well. So, how can patience help you? Well, there are many ways, as I'm about to describe. First thing, obviously, patience helps you with less stress. You know, if I'm wanting to have a normal day, and there's a lot of things that can make my day stressful, Simply driving, going to work, work itself, matters of my own life, you know, for example, my car, trying to get an apartment, things like that. There's a lot in life that requires patience of people. Because when you are interacting with other people, there are other variables involved and not everything will go your way. It's life. Life, by definition, does not go your way. You have to fight for life. You have to go through life. You have to wade through life. There is no possible way that life is guaranteed to go your way all the time. And that is where patience comes in. Patience makes it so that way you don't have the stress of being angry. It lets you rationally think through conversations, situations. Patience is what gets you through the day. It's what gets me through my day. And because it is so valuable, you should know how to be able to do it. One of the best ways for you to begin practicing and gaining the quality of patience is to just slow everything down. We are all wanting to rush in our lives. We have places to go, things to see, things to do. So how do you slow down? You just take your time. For example, when you're driving, go the speed limit. Don't go above the speed limit. Go at the speed limit so that way you're maintaining with yourself within the law, but just slow everything down. You don't need to rush, leave a little bit earlier, you can get to work on time, you can get to that appointment on time. Consciously take your time. And that right there requires a lot of patience in life because even I find myself wanting to rush places and having a little bit of that road rage behind that person in front of me. But if you notice as you slow everything down, you consciously think about all the situations more and you start to realize that you can make accommodations and it's so less stressful when you start to slow everything down. It's really nice when you eventually are used to having everything a lot slower, you'll notice that you won't be as high strung about a lot of things. So slowing down is definitely a subject or a point rather that I think you can definitely develop patience. Another method for you to develop patience is simply thinking before you speak. A lot of people think that you should be doing this by default, but you'd be surprised by how often people don't think before they speak, even myself. For example, in those angry situations, that's obviously a point of which you should definitely be thinking before you speak. You could obviously say things that you don't necessarily mean, but there are situations also when you're just normally talking where it's like, oop, that slipped out. You didn't think about what you were about to say and things happened. Consciously thinking before you speak. 
for the majority of your conversations can actually develop a lot of patience. And that is one of the points that I'm trying to do better myself. And I'm noticing that as I do better, it has developed more patience within myself, even though I already have, in my opinion, a lot of patience already. Another simple way, and probably the third and final way I'm going to really talk about where patience is required is delaying gratification. When you have that dessert sitting in front of you, when you are about to reach that end goal, when you're about to reward yourself, or you're about to be rewarded, put it off a little bit. We all love gratification. We all love the reward. But you will notice as you start to delay it and delay it, you will obviously be thinking about it a lot, but you will also notice that your self-control will become better and better because you won't be getting the reward right away you won't be anticipating it immediately and so because of that you'll be able to have that self-control that will apply to situations where you aren't even getting gratification which is really useful and there are a lot of situations in life where you're going to need patience sometimes the things that i described it for ways for you to improve are not necessarily going to apply but you're still going to need patience to get to that goal and that's really what patience is about it's getting from point a to point b safely and with as less stress as possible so there are a bunch of other subjects that i could talk about where you could use more patience things like uh reaching most goals in general losing weights having a baby bodybuilding becoming a professional at your career and even getting into your career in general becoming a top athlete um getting good at any skill like music um healing wounds and even getting over loss and tragedy all of these situations and more require patience it requires a lot of self-control and self-preservation if you develop patience you will notice that these situations which you find yourself from day-to-day -day life in the abnormal in day-to-day -day life that these situations will become better you'll find that you're happier, your self-control will be better, and everything will just be better. Hope this video was helpful to you guys. Have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, cheers.